a little bit here and here, but honestly, if you guys want to find out more about Shulk, there's no other place that I can recommend to you guys to turn to the Shulk Discord. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely check them out. They are a like-minded group of individuals, all seeking the same thing, Shulk dominance, and we'll see what Nika can do here against Kamehameha this time around. Yeah, the Shulk, uh, I don't know if it's, they're all part of the Discord, but all the Shulk mains that were here for Switch Fest were like, they were the craziest people in the crowd for sure. Yeah. They were popping off for Kome and Nico like crazy. But uh, let's see. Let's see what uh, Nico can do here. Kamehameha is just very knowledgeable about this matchup. Uh, he's played so patiently. It's very difficult to like get in on him. And then even when you do get in on him, you it's, it's hard to do tons of damage. He's also very difficult to edge guard. Mm -hmm. Like, whereas Shulk, especially Nico, gets so much to reward off of just getting you off stage and just destroying your second jump with that fair. Uh, I don't know, Kamehameha is just so good at stalling his recovery, it just gets really difficult. But uh, Nico not do, doing too bad right here. It's off to a pretty decent start, but gets back when offstage, the last place you want to deal with. Oh, Kamehameha is one of the scariest people when he has you at the ledge, especially when his back is facing you with a metal blade in hand. But Oh, oh I like classic Smash 4 move, right? Roll yeah. back at the grab, back throw. Yeah, yeah. Nico <laughs> loves getting the back throw in Smash Art at that ledge situation. All right, I like that. Keeping the spacing away here from any coming is confirms. I like the upbeat. What a good call out. Seeing that approach range. Almost gets the back of a tough trade against the Nair. Yeah, getting past that, those pellets from Mega Man seems like the one of the more frustrating things for Nico in this matchup. But great parry on the last one. Oh, oh nice. Nice catch. And I talked about that earlier, right? The kind of the contrast between him and Kome, right? Kome sees a little bit more on the stage. Looks oh. for those combo opportunities, but Nico is not afraid to go out there with a forward air. Now, I've been seeing this a lot from Kome and Nico, but like that, oh, no snipe. No, he, he, he reached, he reached. But uh, yeah, I've been loving that first hit of uh, up air, like fast fall up air from Shulk at low percent to accept his combos. Yeah. All right, let's see if Nico can build in his lead a little bit more. Like, Shulk's also one of those characters that's really good with the lead, too. Oh, oh. tech chase and the forward throw. No, he can only get the throw. Yeah. Wow, he was facing backwards like he always is. And uh, he actually got hit by the sweet spot back yeah. smash. But there's oh, the up smash. Missed the grab. A little bit unsafe. Was that a grab or did he go, go for a jab? Couldn't tell. I, uh, you know what? The animation almost looks very similar. But uh, either way, Nico going to drop that first stock. Still, I I don't know. I feel like he still has momentum here. Nice. It's a full cross over here. Switching to Buster R. Looking oh. to put in more percent. Coming with a small tech chase here after neutral. The one thing I do like that Nico's kind of doing is making sure also he kind of keeps nice. his opponents well spaced in that area. Good hit from down air. Yeah, I love that Buster down there. I saw that a lot from Kome yesterday, too. It just does so much chill pressure, and if it hits at low percent, you can combo into a lot of things from Shulk. Nico playing this pretty patient. He knows he's got such a big lead, and if he gives it away here and over to an oh. over, some option like that, Kome will look to turn things around as soon as possible. Oh, oh yeah. Kome is so good at parrying uh, in general, but especially on a character like Shulk, who like, falls on you with aerials, who has like more like a telegraph -like timing of his aerial. Oh. oh. Okay, now this is really good for Kome. Catches the metal blade here, but he's not oh. able to use it just yet. Oh, and he's getting stepped up by the pellets now. Yeah. Nice. It's a cross up, and unfortunately, Kamehameha was right there for a grab. Oh. And great use of backslash. Able to auto snap the ledge this time around. Oh, and have man. A hitbox. That's still connecting. That that move, metal blade, being able to combo into his aerials from so far away is so good for uh, Mega Man. And now, yeah. Nico finds himself behind for the first time in the set. Let's see if he can even things up. Kame is waiting out the smash art, not giving him that free neutral get up or roll. <laughs> right, at this point, that's what you have to do. I like to try to, I like to, I like the fact that Nico trying to mix things up there with falling up air. Like I talked about, it, Nico Ooh. had so much control, but you said it earlier, right? The one thing that Kamehameha is really good at is taking control of the stage, and then every time Nico tried to come in with an aerial, Kamehameha was right there to stop him out. Yeah. And the it's fact that different. pellets, like the closer you are with the pellets, the more knockback they do. Oh, he Ooh. wanted that opportunity. Yeah, Kamehameha is so smart at the ledge, and especially dealing with the smash art too. Oh, no, he mixed up the timing. Didn't commit to the second slash and fast flows. He doesn't get punished for that. But uh, still, he needs to get this stock. Every little hit Kamehameha gets is just icing on the cake. Yep, there's a stall with the middle blade. Wasn't able to get, but catches the roll in with the fair. Uh, I don't know. Still hard. <laughs> So hard for Nico, exactly. especially when he's forced to approach now that Kamehameha has the uh, percent lead. I mean, but at this point, right, it's only going to take a couple a couple edge guards here for Nico to actually slowly come back. It starts things off with the background, unable to capitalize. Falling off air, nice. this is a good opportunity to get him off the oh, stage, but Kamehameha with the reaction, clutch back air. Oh, great parry yet again. Nice. I think it was a good job avoiding the Z-drop middle blade at the ledge. That does combo into back air. It potentially kill. 
Okay, nice buster damage here. Oh, Gets a nice. great tech chase, but oh, a little bit greedy with that dash attack. Shield art, I like it. He knows the oh. fact that Kamimi has a possible combo here to actually take care of the stock. Oh, caught him slipping a little bit. Oh, and that was great. nice timing. Yeah, that was a great call out. Yeah, this time Kamehameha committed to the crash bomb, maybe not expecting Nico to go so deep that early. And then right when he's in the lag from the side B, he just got sliced up for it. Yeah. And I talked about earlier, that's kind of one of those things that Nico's not afraid to do is take those risks with those falling forward airs each and every time. But I do like the fact that Kamehameha kind of stays on the stage, waits for your reaction, and then punishes He's very your good at playing uh, incredibly patient and punishing people who just overextend. Uh, Nico exactly. was uh, pretty patient too, but maybe not to the extent of Kome. And the, the one thing too between the recoveries too is that Nico doesn't overextend with a B, right? Sometimes you even see him go for direction or air dodge or just use the jump high from jump bar. Let's see if Nico can uh, defeat his demon here a little bit in a Kame Me. It's a. Uh, Choke Mains rise up, dude. It's he uh, he definitely played much better than usually versus Kame Me at uh, Switch Fest. He took the first game. And pretty much all the games were uh, really close, but just wasn't able to clutch out that best of five. But here yeah. in the best two out of three, see if, uh, you know, Kameme doesn't have enough time to kind of adapt to how Nico's playing. He's off to a good start, though. Uh, by this time in the last match, Nico had a much bigger lead. Okay. Switching to the shield art. He wants to stay alive, and uh, he recognizes that Z-Drop Metal Blade back here at the ledge is very dangerous. Still Kameme. Find tons of pressure here. Nope. Gonna hit him out of the air. Where can Nico go though? Nice. Oh man, it's uh, really difficult to ledge trap uh, Kamehameha here. He's always mixing up what he's getting off the ledge with. Ooh. All right. Shadar yet again. He's gonna stay alive a little bit longer here, but still in a really rough spot. Oh, unsafe. Of course, he's gonna go for the back throw. All right. Oh man, it's a very scary position here, but nice. Nick's in the back there. Nico staying alive just a little bit longer. Nice forward air, pushing Oh, whoa, he wants to early kill. He, oh. oh, that would have been great to get the grab. And Kamehameha oh, doesn't even yeah. get the grab until the very end there. Man, I thought uh, Nico was going to punch that air dodge with the smash heart F tilt, but whipped a grab instead. And now Kamehameha working with the first stock lead. Nico's just trying to apply a lot of pressure here, not really let him build on the lead too much and put Kome in an unfavorable position. Mm -hmm. But man, he's so good at parrying. Normally, Shulk has enough range to where even if you parry it, it's kind of difficult to get a punish, but Kome is ready pretty much every time. Solid call out for Nico to actually follow Kome, knowing he was going to go for out of, out of shield option and then try to go take back center stage. At this point, he's pretty much used to Kome's options like that. I like that. Pulls back after the falling forward air. I'm sorry, after that, trying to understand, you know what, I don't want to get hit by Crash Bomber. Yeah, that's how he got the stock last time. He was able to hit him before he had to worry about Crash Bomber, but this time, Kameme is just very difficult to edge guard. Back air. I like it. Nico off to stay on the stage with the one time he tried to go nice. out of shield Head punish. Chase. Okay. Also the early fair, but he's still in a good spot. Nico catches the roll with the air slash. Nice stuff. Still at a very high percent, though. And again, we already seen how difficult it is to really get in on uh, Kameme and just do tons of percent. What? Nope. Doesn't get that oh, roll. Oh, he's got to watch out. He's at that high percent. Nice. He's got solid. This is kind of what we saw last game, right? He was a little bit down here, and he's able oh. to do damage. Just barely living that up smash. Oh, nice. nice. Great tech to avoid that. Oh. Nico looking also jump away and stay away from Kamehameha and make sure he finds the punish instead. This could be big here, oh, but he missed slow. the timing. Startup frames on that forward air. Not going to be one of those things Shulk has in his advantages. Great use of empty hop back throw. Not going to take it just yet. And that's kind of one of those shortcomings of Shulk, right? He's a oh. really good character by design, but he still suffers in that startup frames. Yep. That was also just really smart from Kamehameha to know that he was in a bad spot to get forward air. Nico slowly brought oh. this back. Jump R and able to use that come back around the stage Don't here. jump. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you never want to jump out of uh, Mega Man's up air because that actually pushes you closer to the blast zone. And I only, f I feel like that also didn't help the fact that he was actually in it, jump bar. Yeah, yeah, being in jump bar just made that situation even worse. Because it does change Shulk's properties to a floaty, so he would definitely uh, send a little much higher. Smash art, hopefully can find the edge guard here. Kome, Kamehameha, though, he's looking for an opportunity to make sure he doesn't get edge guard that way. I like the use of the up air, knowing that Nico loves to go for these aerials. Great yeah. call out. 
Nico though, he's not getting conditioned as hard to kind of stay on the ground. Maybe that's what Kamehameha may be looking to hope for. I was just trying to find this aerial to send him far enough on stage, but mm -hmm. there it is. I think that was, again, uh, Kamehameha trying to do the early back air to intercept forward air, but wasn't able to connect that time. See if Nico can make this comeback happen. He's not super far behind, but again, getting in on uh, Mega Man has just been very difficult, and Kamehameha has uh, not really been forced to change up the way he's playing. It's been working out really well for him so far. Yeah. Nice, good use of empty hop, and you go at 87. I mean, like I said earlier, right, a couple of show combos here, and he'll be able to find himself with a great position with a great edge guard. Kamehameha knows Nico wants, and he finds a oh. way to get in there, and he misses oh, barely. Oh, no punish on the up tilt. His aerial just barely missed. That's so unfortunate, because he was in Buster. He could have gotten so much percent from that. Like, Kamehameha gives very few openings to begin with, so missing opportunity to actually, you know, do some damage oh. is very bad for Nico in this situation. Nice, he switches the jump shield R oh. at the right time, still reaches the uh, the ledge. That was nice, clanking with the, the spike hit box. Nice. Oh. Oh, I, I like the fact that Nico went for Nair, especially with him nice. on the platform, but unfortunately Kamehameha here will go for his back air, taking game two over Nico. Great use of Nair though, because Kamehameha didn't, wasn't ready for that tech. He would have gotten that, and then that would have lead into another aerial. That's Nico not too far behind. Yeah, it's a very close set between these two. Uh, I don't know, Nico is just uh, slowly but surely just getting the hang of how he can deal with Kameme in neutral. He's been getting a lot more edge guards. It's really difficult to catch Kameme's mix ups off stage, but Nico's kind of had some answers for it. But here we go into the last game of the set. Nico running it back to PS2, trying his best to get this win over Kameme. Winner of this will move on to that best of five territory. Winner semis. Not sure if we're going to get. Uh, Gluto Kameme or uh, Kameme uh, Puppe, or whoever wins this, I mean. I mean, this is big for Puppe too, right? Able to take out Shuton. Not an easy player oh, to yeah, actually yeah. beat, right? PGR number five, best top five best player in the world. Not an easy feat, and for somebody like Puppe, honestly, a PGR player of his caliber to come out here and take out a top five player at a local, that's a pretty yeah, big thing to add to the resume. He was kind of struggling a bit. Uh, since he's been here, but I feel like this is like a return to form for a uh, puppy, that is. Sometimes, but, uh, man, even when you're homesick, you know, it, all it comes down to is keeping your mind in the game because that's where things matter the most. Oh, oh nice. Uh, that Z drop up tilt is so devastating from Mega Man. Kamehameha has it so consistently to get that. Oh, that was good. That was we're actually, living, though. Yeah, we're still alive. When it comes to the vertical recovery here, Mega Man definitely excels. Oh man, at least. Sorry, wait. Dude. Horizontally or vertically? I, I can myself mm -hmm. get confused. What? The horizontal recovery. Mega For Mega Man's up B, yeah. yeah. I want to make sure I had it right. Well, hopefully, Nico starts to have things right here because Kameme is snowballing the damage. Yeah, again, when Kameme has like the stock lead like this, it's just so difficult for Nico. It's because he, you know, he's forced to approach. He's trying to make these kills happen, and he oh. just put. Oh no, he just like, overextends and Kamehameha just punishes really well. Oh okay, that's like just exactly what he wants Shulk to do. Oh. Nice. All right, catches the neutral get up. Took 100% though. Really good stock for Kamehameha. And uh, Nico is, again, in a position where he has to make a comeback happen against a character like Mega Man. It's not easy whatsoever. Yeah, just smacked him out of the air with the pellets every time. Oh, no oh. punish on the up smash. He drifted so far away with the jump part that he just couldn't reach him in time. Nice there. This leads into the forward air. Buster R for oh. damage, but missed the Kamehameha. aerial. Kamehameha knows. I'm wondering if uh, Kamehameha asked for Komei's ingredients or the secret sauce that she'll cast. Because <laughs> sometimes it might be feeling like that, dude. Sometimes you really be done in by your own kind. Uh... I don't know. I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm just putting it out there, man. I don't know. Kamehameha is, even versus uh, Kome, he just plays so well in this matchup. Yep. I think he just has a solid understanding of the character overall. But also, kind of one of the one of the things by design, right, by Mega Man, is he actually plays like his own video game, right? And he has a bit of like oh. formula to himself that he's able to go ahead and put so against good. other players. So good. Catching that vulnerable up B. 
I think he sniped him out of the jump with the pellet, and he just knew that he had to uh, overshoot the ledge. Yeah. Damn, that was perfect edge guard. The 